Welcome back to Man of Crossing New Horizons. I'm dear darling. Shall we see what happened to my voice? Shall we see what's going on on our lovely island of One Hollow today? Well, actually, we're not really going to be seeing what's going on on our lovely island of One Hollow today because we're going to be doing a lot of island hopping. Nookmal Island hopping because Rodeo has unfortunately moved away from Von Hollow but has left a vacant spot on our island for which we can fill with an unassuming villager who doesn't even know they're going to move in yet. I don't, I don't know. That was meant to be like dramatic. It kind of sounded weird, if anything. But let's get straight into it after we see if Isabel's got any announcements here for us. Right now in Fawn Hollow, it's 4.38pm on Wednesday, September 16th, 2020. Is there really no news for me to share today? I guess so, but give yourselves a pat on the back, something, something. Finishing strong, something, something. <laughs> it's not really finishing strong. We're still halfway through the week, Isabel. It's a bit early, but, you know, you do you. So let's see what mail we got today from Raymond. <laughs> you want to know how to write a great letter to a friend? Just be straightforward. Tell them all the things you like about them that you would be too awkward to say in real life. You're welcome. Your mentor, Raymond. Thank you, Raymond. Jolly's Red gave, giving us um, a painting, Raymond's poster, Marine Song 2001, all very good things. Which will, hello, Lily. Um, put away in our, not in our inventory, our storage. For now and get, get out later, <laughs> I suppose. Once we open all of these up. Oh, I suppose we should also donate this painting. I don't know if we have any spare Nook Mile tickets from um, last time we went island hopping. I think we do. I think we do. Let's try and see where they're gone. We got two. That's not bad. And Raymond's poster, you can be put in storage. As we'll go on down to the airport and see what's in store for us today. We have 40,000 um, points, so that's quite a few trips. Like, 20 trips or something, isn't it? Oh, hello, Flick. Notice some recipes are gone. Someone in the Discord uh, asked me if I had any spare weeds that I wasn't using, and I was like, sure, you can have them. I'm not using them for anything. And then they were like, and then I was like, you can take whatever recipes you want, because I'm also not using them, and Benny probably never will, so... Mm. <laughs> If you if you lot ever need anything that I have, go ahead and ask me on Discord. I'm all fine to give stuff away, usually. <laughs> sort of depends, I suppose, on what it is. Ah, oh, we should have checked if we got a blue rose or not. Oh, well, what should we talk about? Hmm, I don't know, there's a lot of gaming stuff that came out. Like, Four Guys got a new update. I haven't actually played it yet. Or they mixed things up. All the levels are sort of now, like, cross levels of each other. Or like there's some um, variants, I suppose, of each level. Is how I might put it. Um, I haven't, haven't actually checked it out, so I have no idea. Your Ronda? Yeah. I like your dress, actually. But unfortunately, we're going to leave you be, Ronda. We've only got a very specific amount. <laughs> specific few villagers I'm probably actually looking for. Um, namely being Biscuit, Apollo... Fauna and Phoebe. So not very many. It's gonna be rather difficult, I think, to find quite a few of them, but we'll do our best any anyhow. I will see what happens. Yeah, four guys update is pretty cool. It's nice to see what's happening. But that Super Mario All Stars pack came out, didn't it? Came out to good reviews because I mean the games are good. <laughs> and it's literally just a bundle of games on the Switch, so uh, it'd be difficult for Nintendo to mess them up unless I guess it got got like super frame rate drops or whatever. Stuff like that, you know. It's amazing how much frame rate can affect something. Because <laughs> before I used, before I didn't have a, this, I'm, I'm using a 144 hertz monitor. Well, obviously I can't see it on Animal Crossing because Animal Crossing's, I'm playing through HDMI, so that's only 60 hertz. That might make no sense to you if you don't know anything about frame rates, whatever. Just know that the frame rate of um, anything, I suppose, the number just means how many different pictures I suppose it shows every second. Who are you? I've never seen you before. Shep. You're cool design, cool design. Unfortunately I'm looking for another lazy dog by the name of Biscuit. If you would so happen to show up I'd be very happy. Um, God, it's actually kind of hot today, I'm not gonna lie. I've got my window open and everything, it might just be too hot outside. Maybe my window's not open enough, let's do that. I don't like to let bugs in. 
Here in the UK, we don't have any screens on our windows, so bugs can sort of fly in as they please. But there's not too many annoying, annoying bugs, <laughs> bugs, bugs, like things like moths, spiders. You can just catch them, let them go. Wasps are the annoying one. I don't like catching them because then they might sting you, and I'm like, I don't want to get stung. And to be fair, I don't think bees ever fly into my window. <laughs> I know, what's your favourite insect? People like insects? I like insects. If you don't think insects can be cute, if you don't like spiders, go look up jumping spiders. Jump, cute jumping spiders. Jumping spiders are like the cutest little spiders I've ever seen. <laughs> they are simply adorable. They've got like these big eyes. What is it? Just like, it's like big eyes looks cute to humans or whatever. I don't know why. There's also the rosy maple moth. Probably the most eccentric colouring I've ever seen in a moth. Well, not eccentric, more like... It's like pleasantly pastel. Palette. Perchance. Perhaps. Perpetuating. Pinky. I don't know. <laughs> Palettes? There's a lot of cute insects out there. I'm just saying, just give them a chance, you know? Or cool insects. Oh, you know what was actually in really interesting news that I saw um, earlier today is that Animaniacs is getting revival on Hulu. I will say Animaniacs was released a bit before my time. I've, I've mainly watched it through, like, through the internet, I think. I still like it a lot. Let me think, when was it released? I think it was released, like, 1992 or something, so it's like, I was negative five years old. Animaniacs with Yakko Wacko and their sister Dot. Animaniacs. Those are the facts. Yeah, it's getting like a relaunch on like Hulu or something. I don't know. One of the streaming services. There's a lot of streaming services now. Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, Disney Plus. It's probably more. I don't know them. I don't own any of them. <laughs> so I don't watch stuff. If I had to get any of them, I guess I'd get Netflix or Crunchyroll. But probably Crunchyroll because I probably watch more anime than I watch Netflix originals, right? I don't have a membership, mind you. But theoretically, <laughs> if I were to get one. That's not really a point. The point is Animaniacs has been revived, and Animaniacs is some very wacky cartoons from the early 90s. Very off the wall, sort of, um... I feel like a lot of our humour is like pop culture, self, self, not maybe not self-referential, but like, just appealing to pop culture. In wild and wacky ways. Using jokes that go over kids' heads, that sort of thing. Is that Julian? Oh, you're a very popular villager. <laughs> I thought this was a deserted island, but here we both are. Yeah, you're super popular. Um, unfortunately, we've already got a smug villager by the name of Raymond. He's taking your slot. I would have taken you if we didn't already have a smug villager, but we really should be looking for lazy or cranky villagers, to be honest, because that's who we are missing. Not that it matters too much, but, like, I, li I like a balance of personalities. Now, Animaniacs is really cool. I always like their songs. <laughs> like, what good songs does Animaniacs have? Oh, you know, Countries of the World? Do you think I'll do an updated version for that? United States, Canada, Mexico, Panama, Haiti, Jamaica, Peru. I can't remember the rest of it. El Salvador too, Puerto Rico, Colombia, and Venezuela. Something El Salvador still. <laughs> is that right? I can't remember. They have a lot of wacky songs like that. There's one where Yako sings all the words of the alphabet, not the alphabet, <laughs> what? All the words in the English language from a dictionary. Of course you don't see the actual thing, you just like, it constantly cuts back to him doing it, I believe. That's not such a good one. There's a sense of song, that's a good song. In sense and horse sense and common sense is true. Sense of wonder, sense of beauty, sense of honour, sense of duty. Oh, hello nurse. How can I forget about hello nurse? That's probably like the origin of a phrase. Who is that over there? I saw them for a split second. Oh, you're like Fancy Flo, Gwen. From Total Drama Island. Or Gwen Stefani. Oh, I don't know any other Gwens. Excuse me. How many tickets do we have? One more ticket, okay. Hello, nurse. Why don't you take care of me? How does that start? I don't know, it's got a really nice instrumental backing. It goes like bow, 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 wow, 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 wow. Oh, she's a woman of a year independent. 
in Korea. There's nothing else she couldn't do. She's alert, she's aware. She got legs like a stair, which I don't really know what that means. I think that's like a reference which goes in my head, too old for me. And 157 IQ, that's pretty good. Isn't a cut off a genius being like 150? I don't know. Mentor tests, whatever. I remember someone in secondary school told me I should take a mentor, like one of his IQ tests once, just to see what I am. I don't know, I feel like I'm mildly pretentious <laughs> in some aspect. I feel like there's different types of intelligence anyway. Well, I mean, there are different types of intelligence, as I say. I'm not sure if an IQ test would tell me much anyway. Delhi, do you recognize us? You probably don't because um, the Delhi we know is over at Radishdale right now. I feel really sad that they don't recognise us once they move out. I really feel like they should. It sort of feels like a... Uh. What about our friendship? It just feels sad because there's... One other time, like, Flo left and then literally I found her on an island the next day. Didn't recognise us anymore. Makes me a little bit sad. And sort of makes you a bit more aware how many different clones there are of every villager in the world. <laughs> Rather than feeling like you made a personal connection with one of them. Oh well, what can you do? Wait, can we buy... Oh no, Nook Shopping's not redeeming Nook Mile points. I wish you could buy tickets... Are you right there, Lily? <laughs> I wish you could buy tickets remotely as well. Maybe there is some. Maybe there is a Nook Miles app. We just need to have 100 purchases in Nook Miles Wing, probably. We've surely done 100 purchases by now. We've, we've bought a lot of tickets. I don't know. I'm just speculating. As you might say. Oh, we'll get our Maniac songs. I don't know. I think Hello Nurse is pretty up there. The opening theme. And also, they were arriving Pinky Brain along with it. There was like a few few cartoons that came along with Animaniacs. Pinky Brain, I know, is one. There was Rita and Runt, which didn't last very long. Rita and the Runt. Well, Animaniacs, I don't know. It was just like, these three, I don't know what they are, cats? <laughs> Maybe? <laughs> Running back with Warner Brothers Studio, causing mayhem. With their silly antics. Antics? Antics? And Pinky Brain is about one really smart mouse and one really dumb mouse who tries to take over the world. That sort of thing. Sorry about that small pause. Let's go get some more Nookmar tickets. What's that talking about? Animaniacs, right? There's something about Animani Animaniacs. Pinky Brain. Oh, Rita and Runt. Rita and Runt I don't really know much about. I only know because of their songs. <laughs> As you can tell, I quite really like, I really quite like music <laughs> and songs. They're the things that get stuck in my head. Rita and Runt was about, like, I think the person who voiced Rita the cat was like some really good jazz singer or something. She was like some very talented singer. And then Runt is like, some dumb dog who thinks the cat Rita is a dog or something and it's about their adventures together and Rita's really good at singing <laughs> something like that except for the only song I can remember from Rita and Run is um the Egyptian song the pharaoh song no or maybe it's called All Wrapped in Love oh you kid you got it made beneath the great pyramids gotta say I like this I start talking about my home on the muddy now Call me greedy, but give me more, treat me like Queen Nefertiti. Build me a palace for, fit for Ramses too. Bet you'd rather be me than you. Oh, I can't fuss. No longer on baloney exodus. It feels really weird speaking it because I'm speaking it with an American accent rather than my accent. Or well, not really a full American accent. I'm trying to do it with my accent. But because I remembered it the way it sounds. And obviously Rita's got an American accent. That's just how I remember it. Ooh, it's a money island. Is that Diva? Or Gigi, I can't remember your name. Diva. So, um... Fitting that Egyptian theme, I suppose, with your dress. But we're going to give you... We're going to let you, um... Stay on... Oh! <laughs> let me up. No. I forgot I was wearing a wetsuit. And, of course, strappy heels. Which probably got ruined. Take me home, Wilbur. Country road. No, 
Dodo pl plane, take me back to Fawn Hollow. New Horizons. But I, I don't actually know the lyrics to the song properly, so um, it makes it a bit difficult to make a parody. I don't know, I think it's pretty cool to have Animaniacs in. They very much broke the mold, I feel like, for a lot of different um, cartoon formulas, I suppose. They're being a bit more willing to um, push your boundaries maybe a bit more. Make those jokes. Don't play it safe. Social commentary, that thing. Oh, you know what? They had a United for President song. That's another good song. George Washington was ever. Which I also must say, because of it, I now know significantly more US presidents when I do British Prime Ministers, which is probably a bit <laughs> suspicious, isn't it? Not suspicious, but like, weird, isn't it? <laughs> Just shows you how ingrained America culture is in a lot of different things, I suppose. The tendrils reaching out. Who are you? I can't see you properly. Oh, Pate, right? I've had you before in Wild World, I believe. Hi ho, do you know? The name of US presidents who then became the residents of God over you from White House to From White House Lou on Pennsylvania Avenue. George Washington was the first you see who once shot down a cherry tree. Then can John Adams number two and then we have at number three Tom Jefferson stayed up to write the declaration late at night. And he and his wife had a great big fight and it made him sleep on the couch all night. Then then I kind of don't remember. <laughs> I, d I just remember bits and pieces of it, like James Addis and never had us, and then he fought the World War of 1812. And James' nose, Colossal's nose, was bigger than Pinocchio's. <laughs> really fat, elected twice as a Democrat. Some of some 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 up to bat. <laughs> They should, they should update all these old songs for like modern climate. Oh my god. <laughs> Obviously I don't want to delve into politics and, or anything in these videos. <laughs> but it would certainly be interesting about the current situation, I suppose. You are so cute. Who are you? I've never seen you before. Ellie, aww. You're adorable. Unfortunately, we already have two normal villagers already. Ah, give me a lazy or cranky, eh? What other bits can I re remember? Woodrow Wilson takes us into World War One. I. I can't remember the rest of it. <laughs> that guy was dead in 30 days. <laughs> Why do I remember so many random bits and pieces? If I actually just remembered the song, I'd know all the US presidents in order, I guess. Which is, I'm not sure, particularly useful information, but it's, um, information nonetheless. They're all amazed when Rutherford Hayes wins by just one vote. Something, something, he does fine. <laughs> it's slowly coming back to me. 1850, really nifty Democrats are in. Something, 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 sing the man without a chin. Ulysses, he loved to rave and run. Drinking whiskey or a risky cause he'd spit it on his pants. I've seen you before, I don't remember your name. Simon. Simon says. Why is Simon a monkey a thing? I feel like it's a reference to something before, but I can't remember what. I don't know, Simon just really sounds like a monkey name. Hold on, there's, there's probably a reference to something. I just can't remember right now, let's see. Simon Monkey. No, just Animal Crossing which comes up. Unless we just know that <laughs> I play a lot of Animal Crossing. Probably it. How many tickets we got? We got none left. I really should have just printed them all out. Like um last night, but I forgot. So, my apologies. We can have a quick look to see if we um, actually got a blue rose or not. I'd like to get that on camera if we do. You right, Lily? Something clearly bothering her. How does it end? It's the Clintons, Bill and Hillary. 
something, something, what did I say? It might just be yourself one day. The press will distort everything you say. So hop in a plane and fly away. Something like that. Oh, they also have a United States, um, States of My Capital song when they're playing like Jeopardy or something. Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Indianapolis, Indiana, and Columbus is the capital of Ohio. I don't remember the rest of it though. Just a quint jaw to da 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 da. Springfield, Illinois. I feel like I know a lot of random states and my capitals now because of that song as well. Here's Honolulu, always a joy. No, I pressed the wrong button. What's Castle of Alaska? Do you know? I think. What about uh, Kentucky? I don't know that one. <laughs> Maybe I don't know that many. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think how the song goes. Apart from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Indianapolis, Indiana, and Columbus, and Capital of Ohio. Buffalo, Rome. Just a quick John. To Tallahassee, Florida. 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 Nashville, Tennessee. Santa Fe, New Mexico, and Washington, D.C. That's all the capitals there are. Uh -uh. You forgot to phrase your answer in the form of a question. And then he hits himself over the head with a guitar. This probably makes no sense if you've never seen <laughs> the video. I oh, know, go look it up. If you ever need to learn all 50 states and capitals, go for it. Clearly it's done me wonders where I can remember about eight of them. To be fair, I will never need this information. No one's ever going to be like, hey, dear, quick, name all 50 states and capitals. Otherwise, mm, I don't know. Something bad. <laughs> I can't remember any other songs, though. Hello, nurse's top tier, though. She's pretty, she speaks fluent Japanese or something. She was ambassador to China last year. She has several PhDs, speaks fluent in Japanese. How was it? <laughs> she never call collects. Which, by the way, is um, a joke of a bygone era. <laughs> Something. I think it's when, like, I don't even know myself because that's how old it is. I believe it's when payphones, you can. You, like, instead of when you call someone being charged yourself for the price of a call, you charge the recipient for the receiving the call or something. I think that's what call collectors. <laughs> don't quote me on that. I don't really know. You are jitters, I think. I don't know how I know all these random animal crossing villages. <laughs> Seeing as most of them I've never seen before. Well, not never seen before, but I've never been in, like, my island or whatever. Or previous towns or villages. I wonder how they step things up in the next game. New island, new country, new world. Whoa. Some weird chats going in my own personal Discord server. Well, not, not this personal Discord server. My Discord server, my circle of friends. Talking about Among Us now. Apparently that's something we are going to play. Even e e evening. That'd be interesting. Um, yeah, so basically I'm kind of, I'm interested in the Animaniacs, I was going to say rework, that's the wrong word, um, reboot. What else do we have in Animaniacs? So we have about, what's it called, the Wheel of Morality? Is that a thing? We spin it at the end of the episodes, and it's like, you know what time it is? And the only one I remember, Yako asks, do you know what time it is? And then Wacko and Dot go back and forth saying like weird things. And the only one I remember is Dot going, Time to make fun of a Disney Channel. Something like that. And then we spin the wheel of morality when it gives like a life lesson or something. Some very generic. Hippo, do you recognise us? A very generic life lesson. He doesn't remember us. That's ground to a sad story. He doesn't remember us. No. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. 
I can't remember anything else for Animaniacs. I don't know. It probably makes up a lot more people's childhood than mine. Like half a generation above me. Actually, that's too far. A quarter of a generation above me, probably. Also, it was American. I don't even know if it played on UK channels. It probably did. I never saw it, though. I mean, I've talked ad nauseum about the, the shows I watched growing up anyway, so... <laughs> That's perhaps... Leave it again for another time. Can't do that to death. So, I don't know. I guess if you got Hulu or whatever, tell me how it is. Is it Hulu? I can't remember. It might not be Hulu. <laughs> go, go look up... Go look up, um... Whichever streaming service is doing it, rather than relying on me, because I don't know. It's nice to know that they also got the same voice actors and actresses. Back in the roles again. The voices sound basically the same. Like, Yako and Rakos definitely sound exactly the same. Dots, I think, sounds a little bit older now. Which is kind of fair, because she is older. Ah, you're one of the new... You are... I know, you're one of the new villagers introduced in New Horizons. I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, maybe you're not. Maybe you're not. Now I think about it. I think it's you had your colour changed or something. Like you were a bright red before, but now you're not. I haven't even talked about what I've been up to today. You know what I've been up to today? Not much. I I've been sketching out the, uh, the Opus Magnum thumbnail art. The one which will be following on from Witness. One of that eventually rounds up. It's actually a good thing I played it for before fini um, really drawing the thumbnail art. Because um, there's not many images online about Opus Magnum. So I didn't realise there was actually a story as well. And things that I could take with that. Like an actual main character we play as. Whose costume I lift. If you haven't realised yet. And try and take your main character's costume and dress their up in it for each of the thumbnails. Of course, some of, the, some of them are kind of hard. Like, the witness, you never see your character. You only see his silhouette, and I only know he's wearing a hoodie. So I'm like, mm. So I just made up an, an outfit. I'm trying to think what other ones he did. I think so we had Bug Fables, or she dressed up as a bee, to be like Vi. And Animal Crossing, dressing up as the titular character. The titular villager that you see. With the tulip flower wreath and the sunny, the sun, no, the pineapple dress or whatever. Kind words, you dress up as that little demon. And also she's wearing the, the hat that the, the dear Ella wears. Actually, one thing I've been thinking about is because Spirit Fair has got a very prominent dear character in. So I'm like, should I base, should I draw the thumbnail art based off the main character or should I draw it based off of, um, who are you? Or should I draw it based off that dear? Or should I do it like I did in Kind Words and sort of combine the two? I don't know. Renee. I thought there already is a Renee, but it was a new, like, Uchi character. Sorry, sisterly character. Like a horse. She's got, like, a half shaved head. That was just my, like, I don't even know what it was. My arm rolling on my <laughs> desk. Probably sounded a bit weird. Bell bottom J pop. What's that talking about? I don't even remember anymore. Oh, yeah, what character? Oh yeah, um, the outfits. Oh yeah, the snake bird ones. That's a funny one. Obviously, I can't draw her as a snake bird. <laughs> I did consider it though. I did consider it. But yeah, it was a good thing I played it first because I'm. Um, I didn't have much idea of what to draw for that one. And when I played it, I was like, oh, if it's an actually main character, and there's actually like a backgrounds and stuff. There's just no screenshots of it online. Wild, huh? So yeah, that's that's being done. Don't don't you worry about that. It's a fun game. I don't I don't know when it'll be uploaded. It's probably going to be in like two weeks or three weeks. Quite a ways off because the witness is not quite as close as I thought. I thought I'd just get a head start on recording. And uh, drawing. Because, I mean, why not? Better to be prepared. <laughs> Aren't people like normally super wary about singing songs in YouTube videos in case they get like matched? I know, I'm not making money off of these. It doesn't matter. I'm just here to have a good time and sing whatever songs I want to sing. Ah, you are. You, I, I know. I know you. Uh, your, your name does not come to mind, but I do know you. Patty. That was it. I just noticed she's wearing an orange dress. I didn't realise. <laughs> Looks a bit weird. All right. I guess we'll round off this episode here then. Seeing as we um, we're reaching thirty minutes. We ran out of tickets, I believe. We didn't find anyone, but I will continue doing some island hopping, and hopefully we'll have a, a brand new face to invite to Fawn Hollow to tomorrow. And that'll be very exciting. I wonder who it'll be. Could be a random person. I might I might run out of tickets before I find one of my villagers that I want. But if that's the case, what can you do? 
That's just the way of a cookie crumble sometimes. So anyway, if you have been watching, thank you very much. This has been Animal Crossing New Horizons, and I've been Dear Darling. Any likes, comments, and subscriptions are all very greatly appreciated. And if you want, just join me Dear Darling Discord down in the description below. I hope we can see each other again, but for now, it's over well. So until next time, bye-bye for now. We're Animaniacs.